Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Series exam questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 42. The topic is Boundary Layer Theory in Fluid Mechanics. We take few questions from the Boundary Layer Theory. This first question from 2014 question paper consider the following statement pertaining to the boundary layer on solid surfaces. The boundary layer separation takes place if the pressure gradient is 0. The condition for boundary layer separation is dou u by dou y at y equal to 0. Boundary layer on a flat plate is laminar if the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 power 5. Which of the above statement is correct? So, statement number 2 and 3 they are correct. The condition for boundary layer separation is dou u by dou y at o e equal to 0 and boundary layer for a flat plate will be laminar if the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 power 5. Next question from 2015 question paper, what is the ratio of momentum thickness to the boundary layer of thickness delta when the layer velocity profile is given by u by u infinity equal to y by delta to the power 1 by 2 where u small u is the velocity of the uh, velocity at the height to y above the surface and u infinity free steam velocity. So, the answer is 0 0.166 the momentum thickness to the boundary layer the ratio the ratio of momentum thickness to the boundary layer thickness delta is 0 0.166. So, we have to calculate momentum thickness divided by boundary layer thickness. So, the momentum thickness theta theta is integral 0 to delta u by u infinity into 1 minus u by u infinity dy. So, u by u infinity is y by delta to the power 1 by 2 it is given the problem substituting for u by u infinity integral 0 to delta y by delta to the power 1 by 2 into 1 minus y by delta to the power 1 by 2 dy. So, theta equal to so you take y by delta into the square root so integral y by delta to the power 1 by 2 minus y by delta dy. So, integrating the first term 1 by delta to the power 1 by 2. So, we have y, y to the power 1 by 2. So, y to the power integrating y to the power 1 by 2 equal to y to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 minus y square by 2 delta. So, substituting 0 to delta limit. So, 1 by delta to the power 1 by 2 this becomes delta to the power 3 by 2. So, the delta to the power 3 by 2 substituting and simplifying this will be 2 delta by 3. So, the 2 will go to the numerator delta to the power 3 by 2 it is getting cancelled you will get 2 delta by 3 minus delta square we have to substitute delta square by 2 delta equal to delta by 2. So, 2 delta by 3 minus delta by 2. So, theta by delta theta by delta equal to 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2. So, simplifying 4 minus 3 divided by 6 it is 1 by 6 0 0.166. So, it is the answer the ratio of theta momentum thickness to the boundary layer thickness is 0 0.166. The next question from 2014 question paper the boundary layer thickness at a given instant from the leading edge of a flat plate is more for lighter fluid more for denser fluid same for both denser and lighter fluid less for the right lighter fluid. So, the Reynolds number E R E Reynolds number equal to rho u d divided by mu. So, the boundary layer thickness delta equal to 1 by square root of Reynolds number. So, delta is proportional to 1 by square root of Reynolds number. So, delta equal to delta is proportional to Reynolds number substituting for Reynolds number del deleting other parameter it is proportional to 1 by square root of rho. So, delta value boundary layer thickness is proportional to 1 by square root of density of the fluid. So, when the density increases this value will increase and this delta value will decrease. So, it is more for lighter fluid when the density decreases. So, this value will decrease. So, the boundary layer thickness will increase. So, the boundary layer thickness will be more for lighter fluid less density fluid. The next question from 2015 question paper a fluid is flowing over a flat plate at a distance of 8 centimeter from the leading edge the Reynolds number is 25600. So, the thickness of the boundary layer at this point is 
we have four options here. We calculate the boundary layer thickness. So, the boundary layer thickness equal to delta equal to phi x divided by square root of Reynolds number. So, phi into x equal to 8 centimeter which is 80 millimeter. So, phi into 80 divided by 25600 equal to 2.5 millimeter. So, the boundary layer thickness is option B 2.5 millimeter. The next question from 2015 question paper. Consider the following statements pertaining to the boundary layer on a flat plate. Thickness of laminar boundary layer at a distance x from the leading edge varies as x to the power 1 by 2. The thickness of turbulent boundary layer at a distance x from the leading edge varies x at the, as x equal to x to the power 4 by 5. Boundary layer is laminar when the Reynolds number is less than 5 lakh. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, all the three statements are correct. So, we will see how in the next slide. For boundary layer thickness for the laminar flow, delta equal to phi x by square root of Reynolds number which is proportional to x to the power 1 by 2. Delta for turbulent boundary layer delta equal to 0 0.376 x divided by Reynolds number to the power 1 by 5 which is proportional to x to the power 4 by 5. And for laminar flow, so the value less than 10 power 5 is the condition for laminar flow. So, for laminar flow, the, the boundary layer thickness, boundary layer will be laminar, the flow will be laminar when the Reynolds number is less than 5 lakh. The next question from 2016 question paper, the thickness of the boundary layer for a fluid flowing over a flat plate at a point 20 centimeter from the leading edge is found to be 4 millimeter. The Reynolds number at this point adopting phi as the relevant constant is, we have 4 options here, we calculate the Reynolds number. So, Reynolds number equal to phi x by delta. So, delta equal to phi x divided by Reynolds number, square root of Reynolds number. So, from the equation, Reynolds number equal to phi x by delta to the power 2. So, phi into 0 0.2, x equal to 0 0.2 divided by delta equal to 0 0.004, which is 62,500. So, calculating the Reynolds number is 62,500. The answer is 62,500. The next question from 2016 question paper, what is the ratio of displacement thickness to the boundary layer thickness for a linear distribution of velocity u by u infinity equal to y by delta? In the boundary layer of a flat plate where delta is the boundary layer thickness, u infinity is the free stream velocity. So, we have to calculate the ratio of displacement thickness to the boundary layer thickness. So, the answer is 0 0.5. So, ratio of displacement thickness to the boundary layer thickness is 0 0.5. So, we will see how is the next slide. Displacement thickness delta star equal to integral 0 to delta 1 minus u by u infinity dy. So, u by u infinity is given as y by delta. So, delta star equal to integral 1 minus y by delta dy. So, integrating y minus y square by 2 delta. So, substitute the limit. So, y delta minus delta by 2. So, delta minus delta by 2 equal to delta by 2 again answer. Now, the ratio, displacement of ratio delta star by delta, delta star by delta equal to 1 by 2 which is 0.5. So, the answer is 0.5. The ratio of displacement thickness to the boundary layer thickness is 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5. The next question from 2021 question paper, which one of the following is not methodology of control separation of the flow from the boundary layer in the application of aerofoil? Streamlining the blunt body shapes fluid injection from the boundary layer, suction of the fluid from the boundary layer, creating a motion on the boundary layer wall. Which of the, which of the following is not the methodology? The correct answer is injection of fluid injection from the boundary layer. So, injection is not done for controlling the boundary layer. The other three methods are methods for controlling the boundary layer separation in aerofoil. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written mechanically in your subject. You may find fluid mechanics and machinery. You can refer to the book for the theory part of the boundary layer theory. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects to the YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel. Use the videos for a better learning. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again in another video lecture in the solution for UPS engineering, engineering service exam questions. Until then, bye.